Good morning, students, staff, and on behalf of Windermere, I would like to welcome you to Windermere, to the International Human Rights Day Symposium. We are all excited for you to join us in the sessions and a series of workshops throughout the day. Uh, we are so honored to host uh, this event and to have so many people from outside of the school come into our building uh, in order to participate in such a wonderful learning experience. Uh, as a social studies teacher, uh, I recall um, a project I used to have my students uh, perform, uh, which was to go out and interview people who lived during World War II and also during the Great Depression. And the response that I received from that uh, project from my students was overwhelming. And it was probably a, one of the projects that they remember to this day because it, they were stories from people who actually lived through that time. And I see this symposium as an extension of that type of a project. Uh, this is a very valuable learning opportunity. Have a fantastic day. Museums, historians, educators, journalists, and activists working for historical justice are needing international support and solidarity. And I hope it starts in this room today. Thank you. Commonly, World War II in Asia was thought to have begun after Imperial Japan attacked Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941. But what the Western countries do not realize is that the war had already been waging in Asia for about a decade prior. When we talk about the, the government of, of Japan, they ought to, they ought to legislate an apology for all the people who they have harmed during the Second World War. So my young friends, after attending today's Human Rights uh, Symposium, I would like to ask you, what peace and social justice issue do you want to work on to help make a difference, to help make a better world? As global citizens, we try to make a difference and we keep our hopes high. For example, upon persistent education and lobbying efforts, by the grassroots community organizations, including BC Alpha, our Canadian House of Commons unanimously passed a resolution in year 2007 urging the Japanese government to properly apologize and compensate the victims of the Japanese military sexual slavery system. Now we ask each of the state representatives to say a few words and toll the bell. I think that the symposium is extremely important as it really teaches us about a side that isn't covered as much in school, although I really think that it should be. It's really important that people know about the Asian Pacific War and the people that suffered there. I took away from today that there's a lot of history that we don't learn even at school and a lot of us aren't aware of, but it's just as uh, important to learn about stuff like this as what we learn in school and I thought this was a really eye-opening experience. So thanks to the symposium, I am aware of what went on in Asia, and awareness is crucial in preventing history from repeating itself. So I plan to continue to spread awareness, and hope you all do too. When we think of World War II, we think of the thousands and thousands of Jewish people that, uh, that died during the Holocaust. 
But not until this year did I learn more about the innocent people in the Asian Pacific World War that was killed uh, in this time. It was so important that we not only learn, but talk about it that happened in Asia during World War II. It's crucial for us as young generation to keep this in our heart. Then later, if possible, tell this to the next generation to make sure this crime would never happen again. I'm representing King David High School. This is a Jewish school. Furthermore, we have been learning about World War II and more particularly the Holocaust uh, since grade eight. We should continue to commemorate and reflect on all the atrocities committed during World War II, both in Europe and in Asia as we are doing today. I want to thank the survivors for sharing their stories and allowing us to share in their memories. And I'd like to thank all the presenters today for their time and effort to teach us the truth about what happened during the war in Asia. So we ring this bell to honor the 30 million lives who were lost and all the others who were so badly injured by the atrocities committed during the war in Asia. As an immigrant, um, who actually came from Nanjing uh, seven years ago. I think it's uh, a very important lesson to learn. And also to see so many students here today to um, hear all the perspectives and stories of all the stories that are often unheard here. And the stories that we often hear really um, every day back at home in Nanjing. I think it's really inspiring and really awesome to see. So thank you. I spent the first 10 years of my life in China. I thought to myself, well equipped with the knowledge of these violations against human rights in the Asia Pacific. But I was very much astonished when I heard of the, how the victims had to witness the death of their own family members. And of course, the comfort women, their testimonies are hard to bear because of the hardship, the horrors they had to go through. Whenever World War II in the Pacific is brought up, I always think of my grandfather. Uh, he was stationed in Australia and the Philippines with the Royal Canadian Artillery, and at the end of the war he was put in charge of a repatriation camp. The symposium has made me realize how little it takes for human beings to be humanized against each other. I believe we have an ob obligation to be witnesses who speak out, not bystanders who keep silent, to ensure that these atrocities are never repeated again. Through the symposium, we are more informed than we came here this morning. We know more about the history. We have heard many stories today that remind us of how lucky we are to be born to a country that had not seen as many atrocities that happened during the Asian Holocaust. We want to thank all of the survivors for telling us their stories and how they made it through this difficult time. And we want to thank them for being so brave to give us a better life. I think it's really important that we continue learning about the past so we just don't repeat ourselves and that we can just keep hoping for a better and brighter future, like a peaceful future. And uh, yeah, I'm just really thankful that we have these kind of events that go on so we can just keep, gather tons of people and learn more about the past. So my grandmother was actually a part of the Asia Pacific War at this time. Um, so I do feel like I have a personal connection to these events. Um, the crimes against humanity during the Asia Pacific War demonstrated a level of brutality that remains to this day sickening and disturbing. Such loss, such suffering cannot be swept under the rug. Denial is not an acceptable option and should not be tolerated. We need to face up our mistakes as a global community. Knowing that even the wrongs can never be righted, we must make sure that something like this never happens again. We must not forget those who have died, those who have suffered, and those who suffer still until this day. I'd like to thank my fellow student representatives for helping me commemorate the victims of the Asian Holocaust and respecting them for everything that they did for us.